Imagine walking into your brooder early in the morning, only to find one or two of your chicks lying lifeless on the floor. The rest look dull, some are weak, and others huddle in the corners with little interest in feed or water. As a farmer, there's no heartbreak greater than watching chicks you worked so hard to hatch or purchase slip away in their first few weeks of life. Diseases strike fast at this stage, and unlike mature birds, baby chicks often don't have the strength to fight back. What begins as a small problem, loose droppings, a slight cough, or a sticky vent, can easily wipe out dozens of chicks overnight. This is the reality of poultry farming. Without proper support in the early days, all the time, money and effort you invested can vanish in the blink of an eye. But what if I told you that there are natural organic solutions you can use to fight the most common chick diseases? Methods that not only protect your flock, but also save you money on expensive drugs and build stronger, healthier birds in the process. In today's video, we're going deep into exactly that. The top chick diseases, how to recognize them early, and how you can treat or prevent them using powerful natural remedies that every farmer can access. So before we go further, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and drop a comment below to tell us where you are watching from and what diseases have troubled your chicks the most, because your feedback keeps this community growing and helps us create even more life-saving content for farmers like you. One of the most dreaded diseases that can strike chicks is coccidiosis. This disease doesn't just affect chicks, but can also hit older birds, and, when it does, it spreads like wildfire through the flock. Caused by tiny parasites called coccidia that attack the intestines, coccidiosis destroys the digestive system from the inside, leading to dehydration, weakness, and in many cases, death. The saddest part is how quickly it escalates. You may first notice a few chicks passing loose droppings, but then you see blood in the feces, dull and drooping wings, pale combs, and a sudden loss of appetite. They stop drinking, they lose weight, and dehydration sets in. Once these clinical signs appear, if you don't act fast, the losses can be devastating. The first step to fighting coccidiosis is prevention, keeping the bedding material as dry as possible, because these parasites thrive in wet and damp conditions. Cleanliness is non-negotiable. Feeders and drinkers must be scrubbed daily, since dirt and dampness are perfect breeding grounds for coccidia. But the real secret weapon farmers have is garlic. Garlic contains allicin, a compound with proven anti-coccidial properties that directly weakens the parasites. The simplest way to use it is to chop a few fresh cloves into small pieces and drop them into the chick's drinking water. Alternatively, you can use garlic extract by adding a few drops into the water daily. Fresh preparations are best and you continue giving it until you see clear signs of recovery. Farmers who stick to this routine often see chicks bounce back in just a few days without ever touching synthetic drugs. But coccidiosis isn't the only danger you'll encounter. Another silent killer that frustrates many farmers is pasty butt. At first, it looks minor. A hard lump of dry droppings sticking to the vent of the chick. But behind that tiny ball is a serious problem. The chick cannot pass waste, and if ignored, it will die from a simple blockage. Pasty butt often comes from stress in the brooder, overheating, or indigestion caused by poor feed composition. You'll notice chicks constantly straining, or you'll see that hardened dark ball at the vent. The solution here is twofold, prevention and treatment. On the prevention side, you must ensure your brooder runs at the correct temperature, not too hot, not too cold. Stress reduction is key. To support digestion and reduce the risk of indigestion, apple cider vinegar works wonders. By adding it to the chick's drinking water, you help them cope with stress and balance their gut. But once pasty butt appears, you must act fast. The treatment is surprisingly simple, but requires patience and gentleness. Treatment is usually a two-step process. One, you have to decongest the digestive system of the chick, and two, you have to remove the hardball at the vent, which is preventing the poop from going out. So, first remove the hardball of poop at the vent by dipping a clean cloth or cotton pad in warm water and hold it gently on the hardened lump at the vent. The warmth and moisture will soften the ball, making it easier to pull out without causing pain. When you remove it, do it slowly and carefully so you don't injure the chick. Afterwards, apply a little oil or herbal salve to the area to prevent fresh droppings from sticking again. A natural antibacterial ointment can also be used to keep the vent area healthy. Now after this, add a few drops of liquid paraffin, which is a mineral oil, 
into the chick's drinking water. The liquid paraffin helps to soften the pea pop that is forming inside the chick's digestive system. Remember, don't use paraffin that is used as fuel. The liquid paraffin I am talking about here is the one used for chicks, not the one sold at petrol stations. Farmers who stay consistent with this approach rarely lose chicks to this condition. While bacterial and parasitic problems, like these can often be controlled with hygiene and natural remedies, viral diseases are a whole different battlefield. Are your chickens struggling with diseases, low egg production, or slow growth in broilers? Natural solutions work, but finding reliable ones is tough. That's why we created the Organic Poultry eBook with 47 plus proven organic remedies, tested, backed by scientific research, and locally available to keep your birds healthy, boost eggs, and speed growth. No more expensive chemicals or costly losses. And here's the bonus. We're in the final stages of launching our poultry feed formulation course, a step-by-step -step system to create powerful, balanced feed on your farm, saving you money and improving results. The Organic Poultry eBook is available in English, French, Portuguese, Indonesian, and Spanish, so you can learn in your language. In the eBook, we give you the actual tested amounts or dosages of the organic supplements and treats to readily add them in chicken feeds and drinking water. Ready to transform your farm? Click the link in the video description or scan the QR code here to grab your copy and be first in line for the upcoming feed formulation course. Your best season is not yet until you try this out. Marex disease is one of the most feared viral infections in chicks, not only because of its high mortality, but also because once symptoms appear, there is no treatment. This virus attacks the nerves and brain, leaving birds paralyzed. You'll see a chick trying to walk but unable to control its legs, with one leg stretched forward and the other backward. The feathers look ruffled, the bird stops eating and drinking, and eventually it wastes away. Marix can kill up to 100% of your flock if not prevented, which is why vaccination is critical. Always confirm with the hatchery whether your chicks were vaccinated at hatch because Marix spreads quickly in farms. But natural methods can also support your chicks in building stronger immunity. Supplements like garlic, apple cider vinegar, and probiotic powders added to drinking water boost the immune system, giving chicks a better chance to fight off viral challenges. Strong immunity means that even when exposed to viruses, their bodies can create defense cells to kill the infection. In addition to supplements, routine brooder disinfection is a must. Clean and disinfect the brooder two weeks before chicks arrive and repeat disinfection as part of your management. If Marix is suspected, isolate the sick ones, provide supportive, care with natural additives in water, and consult a vet for guidance. The goal is to contain the disease and strengthen the survivors. Respiratory illnesses are another big challenge in young chicks, and they come in many forms, caused by bacteria, fungi, or viruses. Despite their different origins, the symptoms look similar. You'll hear sneezing, coughing, see watery eyes and nasal discharge, and sometimes chicks open their beaks wide in a struggle to breathe. They look dull, they stop eating, and the flock becomes restless. Prevention here begins long before treatment. Buy chicks from reputable hatcheries to reduce the risk of introducing infections. In the brooder, keep dust levels low, avoid damp litter that produces ammonia, and ensure constant ventilation to keep fresh air moving. Vaccination can also protect against some respiratory viruses, so always consult your vet on the right program. On the natural side, certain herbs work like magic when used consistently. Mint, rosemary, oregano, and thyme can be added into feed in powdered form, or you can use their extracts and oils in chicks' drinking water. If using fresh herbs, chop them finely and add directly into drinking water. The good thing about these herbs is that you can mix two or three of them, make a paste by pounding them, and add the paste into the chick's drinking water. These herbs act as natural antimicrobials and open up the respiratory system, reducing infection pressure while improving overall immunity. Farmers who use them regularly often notice chicks that not only breathe better, but also grow faster because they aren't wasting energy fighting disease. Another strange condition that alarms farmers is crooked neck, also known as stargazing or wry neck. Here, the chick struggles to hold its head upright. The neck coils in odd directions, making it hard for the bird to walk or feed properly. While the exact cause isn't always clear, vitamin B deficiency is often involved. The eats good news is that crooked neck responds well to natural remedies if caught early. A proven method is to mix one clove of garlic with one teaspoon of raw honey and add this mixture into the chick's drinking water. 
These natural remedies should be paired together with a chick multivitamin to clear the possibility that the chicks might be suffering from vitamin D deficiency. Within about a week, most chicks begin to recover, provided you also supplement vitamins directly into the diet. If the symptoms persist beyond this, it could indicate something more serious, so consulting a vet becomes necessary. Lastly, we have a condition that looks unusual but is quite common in poorly managed brooding systems, splayed leg or spraddle leg. Here, the legs slip outward to the sides, leaving the chick unable to stand or walk. Causes range from fluctuating, incubator temperatures during hatching to slippery bedding materials like newspapers, and in some cases vitamin deficiencies also play a role. The fix is straightforward but requires attention to detail. Start by sourcing chicks from a reputable hatchery where incubation is carefully controlled. In your brooder, avoid slippery bedding. Wood shavings work best. Keep vitamins in the drinking water to strengthen bone and muscle development. If a chick already develops splayed legs, you can correct it using hobbles. These are small bands that gently hold the legs together in the right position, training the chick to walk normally. Again, within days to weeks, many chicks regain full mobility and can catch up with the rest of the flock. When you step back and look at all these conditions, coccidiosis, pasty butt, Marek's disease, respiratory infections, crooked neck, and splayed leg, the common theme is that early recognition, prevention, and natural treatment make all the difference. Chicks are fragile, but with the right care, they can overcome most challenges and grow into strong, productive birds. If you found this video helpful, remember to get your organic farming ebook in the first link in the description of this video. Watch the next video on your screen right now, where I reveal the most powerful natural supplement that can save a dying chick in just a few hours. See you over there.